The number six seeded 49ers just walked into Lambeau and ended the number one seeded Packers season. This team seems to be Aaron Rodgers' kryptonite as he's now 0-4 against them in the playoffs. So thanks to that, we have another premature playoff exit for the Packers and Aaron Rodgers. And after the game, Aaron Rodgers was questioning his future. So everybody's got the same question on their mind. Is Aaron Rodgers done in Green Bay? And to put it short, I'm gonna say yes, but let me tell you why. So everybody knows about the drama with Aaron Rodgers in the front office by now, but I'm gonna go back to where it first started. Instead of getting Rodgers some help, in 2020, the Packers drafted Jordan Love with the 26th pick, and it was safe to say that he was definitely not happy about it. And then I guess the Packers wanted to piss him off even more because right after he publicly praised Jake Kumaro, they cut his ass. So Rodgers went in and expressed his frustrations, and it seemed like everything was going to be fine going into the season, which it was. He played, he had an MVP season, and he took them to the NFC Championship. And then after going down early, the Packers started getting back into the game. Aaron Rodgers was pulling a comeback. And then it seemed like they had a chance to tie it up at the end. It was fourth down on the eight yard line. There was like two minutes to go. And Matt LaFleur took the ball out of Aaron Rodgers' hands. And not only did it piss the fans off, but it pissed Aaron Rodgers off. You know, after the game, he questioned his future. He took some time off from the team. He kind of went ghost on everybody. He, he hosted Jeopardy, he went golfing, he did the match against Tom Brady, and then everybody was wondering, like, is he going to come back to the Packers? And while it may have taken a while, it may have taken some sick-ass golf carts from his linemen, and it took some roster moves by the front office, but he did end up coming back to the team. Everybody knew that Rodgers was still upset with the front office and that he had a fractured relationship with the team. So when week one comes around and the Packers get smacked by the Saints, Rodgers throws two picks, some fans are like, oh my god, he's throwing. But that ended up being far from the case. He ended up having an amazing season and winning his, likely winning his fourth MVP of his career. So all is well. They win their division. They go 13-4. and and they're the favorites to win the NFC as they got the number one seed. So the 49ers walk in, they beat the Packers, and now their season's over. And now we're back to where we started. Is Aaron Rodgers done in Green Bay? Recently, he stated his appreciation for the team trying to fix the relationship. That is one thing to take into consideration. But what he also said recently was he doesn't rule out retiring after this season. But on top of that, he said last night after the loss that things are going to look a lot different moving forward. And he also said he didn't want to be around if a rebuild were to happen. And the team has some notable players coming up on expiring contracts. So those are some things that can contribute to him leaving. But for me, I think that the main thing is it looks like he's really not having much fun in Green Bay. I mean, the last two years he's been going through drama. He wanted out, but they didn't let him go. They didn't trade him. So he comes back to the team. You know, things are going well. And then they get a bye week in the first round. They're the top seed in the NFC. And then boom, season's over after one game. And over the past 10 years, it's just been the same old song and dance in Green Bay. It doesn't matter if they switch coaches. It doesn't matter if they have good draft picks. It doesn't matter if they signed free agents, if they made trades. It doesn't matter. The Packers are always disappointing in the postseason. They have had nine playoff appearances since their Super Bowl win in 2011. And in those playoff losses, they have a loss in the wild card round to the Giants, a loss to the 49ers in the divisional, a loss to the 49ers again in the wild card, a loss to the Seahawks in the conference championship, a loss to the Cardinals in the divisional, a loss to the Falcons in the conference championship, the Niners in the conference championship, the Buccaneers in the conference championship, and then last night's loss to the 49ers in the wildcard round. Nine years of playoff blunders and disappointment leads me to believe that Aaron Rodgers needs a fresh start just like Tom Brady did. But I'm not Aaron Rodgers. I don't know what he's thinking. I don't know if he thinks he needs a fresh start or not. 
he may just want to stop since he was talking about retiring before. I mean, the guy's unpredictable. When everybody was freaking out about what team he was going to play for or if he was going to return to the Packers, he was just partying in Hawaii. He did not give us anything, and people were questioning Adam Schefter as a valid source of NFL news because he is so unpredictable. So due to that, if I try to like make a prediction to what team he's gonna go to, I am not gonna be confident in it at all. So I find it really hard to guess where he's gonna go, but I will go through a few teams that I think he could go to. So the first team I'll throw out there is the Steelers. They have that great defense led by TJ Watt. They've got the TikTok boys at receiver. They've got an up and coming tight end in Pat Fryermuth. And Aaron Rodgers has also spoke highly of their coach, Mike Tomlin. And I think with some elite quarterback play like Rodgers, him and Najee would carry that offense. And I really think that they could be a top contender in the AFC if they added him. And then the next team I have is the Broncos. And theirs is basically the same situation, except I think the receiving core on the Broncos is definitely way better, given that the Broncos don't have a coach like Mike Tomlin. They actually just fired theirs. And those are really the only two teams I could see him going to. But I mean, who knows? He could pull a Brett Favre. He can go to a rival team. He could go to the Vikings. Maybe they want to move on from Kirk Cousins and put him in there. Maybe he can go to the Saints because I'm a tired Saints fan and I'm tired of disappointment after disappointment after disappointment. But in all seriousness, I think the Broncos and the Steelers are the two teams that he'll go to. Some suggest the Colts or the Raiders or the Browns, but those I don't really see happening. At the end of the day, I think Rodgers just wants to go to a team that has a solid defense that can keep him in games and a receiving core that has been better than what he's had in the past. Because besides Devontae Adams, he really hasn't had that elite receiver. He had Jordy Nelson, he had Randall Cobb, and he even had Greg Jennings. Oh shit, Darren Sharper, one of the most hardest hitting safeties in the league. But I put the team on my back, dude. But the story of Rodgers' career is that he's never really had that elite receiving core. He's definitely had a good one, but never that elite one. But I think if you give him either the Steelers receiving core or the Broncos receiving core, that he can make that offense elite. But like I said, I'm not confident in either of those picks just because Aaron Rodgers is an interesting guy. He's pretty unpredictable. I could see him retiring as well. But regardless, I think Aaron Rodgers is going to leave Green Bay. But that's my final prediction. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think he's going to do in the comments below, whether or not he's going to leave, and if he does leave, what team he's going to go to. And until the next one, I'll see you later.